Hello Capricorn, welcome back to New Hope Tarot where we will be doing your reading for the week of April 15th through April 21st. I have meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled, but as always, I will shuffle live. During meditation, Spirit showed me a, a peace lily and it was just a single peace lily. <clears throat> which symbolizes, it kind of reminded me of the Ace of Cups in one of these decks, but it wasn't necessarily that specific. Um, it didn't look exactly like that. It was just a single piece lily with its long stem. And it was just there. Um, and a piece lily does symbolize peace, hope, and prosperity. Also purity. The feeling that I got with it was steadfast. Um, that was just, that was the emotion that came through. That was the energy, not necessarily the emotion, but the energy that came through. It's like whomever this energy belongs to, they say, yes, I know. I know I'm coming into my peace. Yes, I know I'm coming into my prosperity and I'm remaining true to who I am. It was that kind of energy. Okay, so before, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> excuse me, um, this particular week we're doing things a little bit different. Spirit, Spirit wanted me to get an oracle card and a card from this druid deck. Um, I have shuffled ahead of time as always, but they, look at this disaster. This is one of the most difficult decks for me to shuffle. I don't care how many times I try. I I practice shuffling this deck and I can't. I've bent them. I just, I can't. And I don't like to damage my cards. So I just do this. And no, this one? Okay, this one. So that's what we have. <clears throat> All right. So Shine, may you be a lighthouse I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like you're remaining in your peace. I feel like, like the peace lily, it's got that little yellow stem in the center. And it's it's like you're standing there in hope, knowing that you're, you're gonna be the beacon drawing something into you. That's what I'm getting here with this particular shine card. Um, then we have justice. Yeah, things are going to work out for you just fine, my dear Capricorn. Just fine. I think everything is going to balance itself out just fine. I feel like you have spirit on your side. I feel like you have wisdom on your side. And I feel like karma is on your side. Like It's like the universe is wanting to pay you back for something, for your patience, for your good deeds, for you learning the lessons that you've learned whatever it is, it's, it's like, like I said, like that peace lily is like, you know, it's coming in, you know, that justice will prevail. That's basically what I got. It's like, you know, and here you are just sitting there in your own energy, just chilling, peaceful, waiting. Four of Cups. All right. Let's see what we have here. Three of Wands. And the Strength card. Okay. So what I'm getting here is the fact that you're waiting for this offer to come in. And you're it's like you're waiting for the for to take this journey. You're ready to take this journey. You're ready for this offer to come in. You're ready to take this journey. You're ready. I'm getting like a, a full energy here. You're ready to take that leap. You're like, all right, I'm waiting, spirit. I'm ready to hop on. Just let me know. Where's my ticket? So I can go aboard. That's what I'm seeing here. That you're remaining very still in your faith, very strong in your faith is what I'm seeing here. 
She's looking up at the stars, very strong in her faith, knowing that something is coming in. Rest assured with this three of wands, spirit is bringing that toward you. You see that seagull up there? Spirit is bringing that towards you. Don't you worry, it's coming. Six of wands. Yep. <clears throat> Me. The moon. The high priestess. Spirit here is saying, with this particular Six of Wands, it's so funny. Every time I see this particular Six of Wands, I'm going to show you what a, a regular Six of Wands looks like. How did that happen? Let's see. Let me show you what a regular Six of Wands looks like. It's like this is saying, be in peace. Stay in your peace. That's what a regular Six of Wands looks like. Right? Do you see the two different energies here with this, this particular Six of Wands and this particular Six of Wands? Six of Wands is victory. It's about being um, noted, being uh, observed, and being um, given acclimates to to something well done. But in this particular six of wands, it's like you're up there in your glory. It's a victory, right? In this particular wands, it's like you're being cheered on by spirit saying, stay in this calm energy. We're cheering you on. It's coming. As long as you stay in this peace of mind, this chill energy, it's, it's like a four of swords energy almost, right? But it's not, it's a six of wands, but they're they're just chilling. And I feel like this is spirit saying, you're gonna get your victory as you keep your calm demeanor about you. That energy that I, saw, I felt with that peace, Lily, that's what I'm seeing here. And no, you don't know what's coming. You have an idea of what's coming, but it's still a mystery to you. You, you don't know the ins and outs and that's okay. And that's quite all right. The moon can be about lies and, and such, but I'm not seeing lies here. I'm just seeing stay within these parameters. Stay within the guidelines. Don't uh, stray off the path and stay in that beacon energy with the shine. Stay in that beacon energy. And with the strength card, we have the high priestess. This is saying stay in tune with your um, stay in tune with your intuition and stay strong in your hope because you're, what you're hoping for, you know you're going to get is what I'm seeing here. I love this. All right, what additional information do we have for Capricorn? I feel like this is already the advice I, with this saying this is because you're already doing what you want. So normally in this particular path, I normally write down, I normally uh, take cards for advice, but I feel like it's already here. I want to see what additional is coming your way. What additional is coming your way for Capricorn? The Eight of Cups. The Page of Pentacles. No, not that one. They want this one. Okay. And the Knight of Swords. I got the bottom one anyways. The Ace of Swords as well. Okay. 
So what is coming your way as well is I feel like there is somebody that's going to come towards you with very good communication. So I don't know what this is, but I feel like this is somebody that has got very, very clear communication. Um, I feel like Libra had these cards, but whatever it is, they're coming in with a solid offer. The Eight of Cups is, I happen to like the Eight of Cups. Not everybody likes the Eight of Cups. I happen to like it because to me, it shows forward thinking, deciding that yes, I'm ready to move forward. And to me, this is spirit saying, things are moving along just fine. It's in motion, right? In a regular eight of cups, normally the person's just standing there, but this one's already in motion. It's coming. It's already on its way. And what is on its way? This page of pentacles, somebody with a solid offer and commitment. I, I'm seeing commitment here. And I feel with this Knight of Swords and this Ace of Swords, I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication. Um, I don't feel like this is going to start off quickly. I, I do feel like there's going to be attraction, but I feel like this is more going to start off as very, very slowly and a lot of communication. I am seeing distance with this person. Nothing here states uh, a person, but I'm getting genuinely a person is what I'm getting here. Um, all right, Spirit wants me to get a, a clarifier for the Page of Pentacles for you guys, but I'm getting the sense that it's a person. Um, if it's not a person, then this is about um, whatever it is that you're wanting, whether it's work-related or, or you know, a uh, home or whatever. What you might be looking for, there might be some negotiating with these uh, swords and communications back and forth, um, but it's going to be solid. And perhaps maybe it's a home, maybe it's a little bit further out than you had wanted, you know, because I'm seeing distance here. So again, maybe what it is you're looking for or what it is you're wanting still is within your scope and your guidelines, but it might not show up exactly how you anticipated it, okay? A higher event. All right, they want one more with this. So again, look inside with this higher event. This is about um, traditional things. So it could be a traditional relationship. This could be a home, a traditional kind of a job because the higher event is something that is very traditional. Maybe you're looking to go to school. And maybe you're looking to get the right kind of scholarship, right? Whatever this looks like for you. Right, this one, they want this one. Knight of, here's the Knight of Swords yet again. If it is a person, they could be a Taurus. We have the Hierophant here, okay? And the Knight of Swords again coming towards you. I'm telling you, Spirit is bringing something towards you. And there is going to be a lot of communication. And I feel like this is going to be very good communication because I, I, I'm getting the sense that although there's a lot of attraction, and again, nothing in here showing attraction. It's the energies that I'm picking up from the card. The energies that Spirit are, are whispering to me. Those are or the words that um, Spirit are whispering to me, but the energies that I'm picking up from the cards. Right? Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. You might resonate with the reading for... Um, for Libra. And then we have the attraction at the bottom of the card. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I feel like this is really, see, there's the, I don't think that this is a peace lily, but, um, it's a type of lily. I just don't know what kind of lily, 
Um, but the piece lily that they showed me, I just noticed it. I don't know what took me so long to notice it, but it looked very similar to this, except this wasn't folded down, it was pointed up. Okay. Um, I feel like you are in this state of bliss with that peace lily. That's what I got. It's like you're, you are enjoying the moments. You, I do feel like maybe before you were more in this energy, um, where you, you wanted to know when, why, how, blah, 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 you know, all those questions. And I feel like once you did let that go, which I feel like you already have, to be honest with you, for the majority of you, I feel like you already have. And, okay, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is also stating that for some of you, um, there might be another person, all right, they want me to get another card. There might be another person um, that's involved in your life. It might be an ex person because I'm seeing a, a child here, so it might be an ex that might uh, try to control um some sort of outcome, some sort of, uh, maybe they're um, a Bobby Budinsky. We got two cards here. Oh, look, and we have Justice again and the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody in the past. Thank you, Spirit. Because the Six of Cups can definitely be about nostalgia. But um, overall, it can just be about a past person. Um, but I feel like there's justice, that, justice that's going to prevail. Spirit is also saying right now that um, this could be a past person from a past life. So this person could be from a past life. And what they're saying about this particular card when it comes into connection with this is that because they might be at a distance over here, let go of trying to control when you're going to communicate whenever that does happen. Don't, don't try to, you know, they have a life. And so do you stay in your energy of peace and that things are going to work out because look, we have justice twice. Everything will prevail just the way it's supposed to. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of playfulness, a lot of harmony, a lot of joy, um, I'm getting a lot of youthful energy with this particular card. Um, when it comes to this union, um, if it's somebody that, that when, in regards to this new person that's coming in from a past life, because I do feel that um, this person's going to be at a distance. There's going to be a lot of communication, but you have to let go of being in your head too much and thinking, oh, are they going to call me? When are they going to call me? What is it? You know what I mean? Like that kind of a thing, because that might scare this person away. Okay. Now for others, it might be that you have somebody uh, currently in your life that tries to control things, right? It could be a family member. It could be an ex, um, uh, an ex person, it could be whatever it is, but don't worry about it. And they might want to get in the way of this offer, right? They might not want to see you move forward, but don't worry because things are, it looks like, I mean, again, we have justice twice, I, and which is fantastic. So, and if this doesn't have to be with a person, again, I strongly feel like it is if I'm looking at the cards and, and going by the feeling that I get. Um, Whatever brings you peace, I feel like they try to disturb that frequently, right? Like try to poke holes into whatever faith you might have, you know, and try to bring some sort of shadows of doubts into you. So I personally, I would say, you know, try to keep a distance from that specific person, um, because, I mean, obviously that's the reason why you're no longer with them, you know, because you're constantly being, you know, um, Bobby Budinsky where, you know, they're trying to, you know, put their two cents in, in a situation where it doesn't belong. All right, my dear ones, that was your reading Capricorn. I hope there was something in here that was helpful and that resonated with you. If it did, please leave a comment.
All right. Thank you so very much. Thank you all for your likes and your subscribes. You have no idea what that means to me. So thank you again. Have a great week. Bye.